Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today, we are going to solve this problem from IIT JMMS 2022, problem number 47. The problem says that let xy be a random vector having the joint moment generating function m t1 t2 is equal to half into e to the minus t1 plus half into e to the t1 whole square whole square into half into into half plus half into e to the t2 whole square where t1 t2 belongs this this uh, this vector belongs to r2 then probability modulus of x1 plus x plus y is equal to 2 is what probability modulus of x plus y is equal to 2 is how much we need to calculate this probability right so the joint mgf of the random vector xy is given and we need to find the probability of this thing so m of t1 t2 is actually this one right so what is the mgf of x the mgf of x is nothing but just putting 0 in place of t2 we get the mgf, the mgf of x which is this one mx of t1 is nothing but m of t1 comma 0 is nothing but this this part only this part right this part half into e to the minus t1 plus half into e to the t1 whole square again the mgf of y is again similarly found by putting 0 in place of t1 and keeping t2 as as usual so m y of t2 is nothing but m0 of t1 m, m, m of 0 comma t2 which is nothing but half plus half into e to the t2 whole square right now you can see so we have got the individual mgfs right now we can see that the joint MGF is actually nothing but the product of the individual MGFs, right? The MXY of T1, T2 is actually nothing but MX of T1 into MY of T2, right? So that means it just means that X and Y are actually independent. Now, from the MGF of Y, we can see that Y is nothing but binomial distribution. It follows binomial 2, comma half, right? So we have already found out the distribution of Y because Y follows what distribution? We know that it's binomial. We even know the parameters two and half now for x distribution it does not look like a distribution which of which we pdf we know the mgf right it does not look like a familiar mgf so let us see what we can do so first expanding the square we get uh, one by four into e to the minus t two t1 plus half plus one by four into into the two t1 right this is the just expanding the square now see let x be a random variable whose pmf is this probability x equals to x is equals to 1 by 4 if x is equals to 2 or minus 2 and z half is if x is equals to 0 that means x is a random variable that takes only three values 2 0 and minus 2 the probability of taking the value 0 is half and the remaining two values are equal of having 1 by 4 so the mgf of x is nothing but this thing right this is the mgf you can easily calculate this is a discrete random variable you can easily calculate the mgf this is the mgf now you can see that actually a this MGF is nothing but this MGF, right? The one we already had. That means the X in the given problem is nothing but having this distribution because by the uniqueness theorem of MGF, right? It must be having the same distribution. That means we already knew the distribution of Y. Now we also know the distribution of X, right? So probability mod of X plus Y is equal to is nothing but it happens if and only if there are three cases. X is equal to minus two, Y equals to zero plus x is equals to 0, y equals to 2, or x is equals to 2, and y equals to 0. There are three three cases for which mod of x plus y is equals to 2, right? So just finding out this problem, and they are obviously independent. We already know that. So just finding out the probability, all these probabilities it easily can be easily calculated because we know the distribution of both x and y. Ultimately, we got the answer of 0.25. That means 0.25 is our answer, right? So it's a very beautiful problem because initially the problem is the main difficult part of the problem is basically finding out the distribution of x because y easily can you can easily infer that y follows binomial right we can easily say that we can easily see that but x does not have a familiar mgf so in that case we had to expand it and just use this pmf you this pmf and see and we saw that this pmf of x this distribution if x has this 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 distribution then the mgf is actually turns out to be the one we already had in the problem so this is the way to do this problem so there you have it the solution to this problem so do like share and subscribe to the channel for more exciting problems see you till next time